Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a new brewer. Um, let me just autofocus my phone. Uh, this is a new brewer. Um, it is Fonta Flo um, Flora Brewery and they are from Nebo or Nebo in North Carolina. And it is a goes, and it says all that on the front. It's a mixed culture goes beer fermented with local watermelon and aged in lime basil, hibiscus, house zested limes, and sea salt. So there's sea salt in there, so it should be nice and sharp. Um, and that's it. I got this, um, surprisingly, it wasn't from Priest Town. I picked it up in a local pub called the Plug and Taps. Um, I can't remember how much it came to exactly. It's a couple of bolts them out the fridge. Um, but yeah, I've never seen this before. Um, and I thought it just looked cool. It was one of the only see-through bottles and in fact it was the only see-through bottle and then that yeah it just looks interesting. Um, that's all you get on the label. Um, I've read all the guff. It's quite nice the label. It's got like a leather feel to it or at least like a fake leather feel to it um, which you don't get. It's not paper or anything. It's like you can see I scratch it and it's just nothing's coming off. It just feels nice. Um, it's 12 ounces. Oh, 12 fluid ounces. I don't know what that is. I think it's 330. Looks like it. Um, it's 4.8 percent. And yeah, that is pretty much it. It says actually, in accordance with Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. General stuff. Um, that's the bottle cap. Yeah, let's just crack on and actually before I do I don't know if you can see it. There you go. It's got like a sort of tequila sunrise style colour into it. Like It's quite light up here and it's quite dark. Anyway, let's crack it open and see what we've got, shall we? Right, there's the beer. Same colour as what it was in the bottle. Orange, um, not really a head, it's sort of really quickly dissipated. It looks nice, no floaters. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? You can smell the lime, definitely. Watermelon as well. It really isn't hiding any, uh, any flavours. Literally everything that was on the label. Hibiscus, lime, watermelon. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Let's get a mouthful for body and carb. Body's light, carb's light. Nice tartiness to it. Thought it would. Let's get a big old taste. Cheers. That's good. Sharp hearty like I said it, I knew it was going to be sour I'd probably put it as a 7 on the sour scale um, it's flavour wise it's watermelon, lime can't really taste the hibiscus in there but you do have your uh, sea salt you can taste it it's not overpowering or anything like that it's literally just lime and then a bit of fly. Um, lime, bit of watermelon sort of going between the two finishes with this slight salty flavour um, and it just lifts gives that like a, a little boost right at the end of flavour just from the watermelon and lime just gives it that little lift that it needs and it's great I love that sea salt is not a common ingredient in beers um, the only other beer I've had off the top of my head that has had sea salt in it was Meet My Airline Gym by Chain House chain house um, and I thought that was really nice this I think is fantastic it's a really nice beer see the sea salt does help with the flavor that's why you put it in sweets um, like caramel salted caramel just gives it a little extra boost in sweetness anyway I think it's a really nice beer flavors are well done could do with probably a bit more hibiscus if I was to be brutally honest but besides that it's a really nice beer not the weather for it today it's um, pretty miserable it's like raining but if it was during that heat wave we had, 30, 40 degrees, 
this is the perfect beer. You could probably session this at a push, 4.8 maybe. Um, but you can definitely have a couple, stick them in the ice outside, barbecue. That's this kind of beer. Um, and it's North Carolina, so I don't know how hot it is around there. But there we go. That's um, Fontaflora Brewery. Um, so, pardon me. Um, yeah, Fontaflora Brewery's go. Pardon me. Goes out of ten. I'm gonna give that a nice solid. I'm gonna give that a nine. I think the hibiscus was a little more. It'd be great. That'd be a ten. But that is that's a solid nine. I think that's a really really good intro to the brewery. I'll have to keep my eye out and try and find more of them. Um, it's a good American beer as well, actually. Um, I thought America was just drinking Budweiser and Bud Light and stuff like that, but this is a good one. So. If you have had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a, I'll try and find a link to this and put it down below. Uh, like I said, I got mine from Plug and Taps, a uh, local pub in Preston Town. Um, so if you go there and get one, it's probably easier than just uh, trying to find links and websites and shipping and all that. So anyway, if you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.